everyone. Welcome to my booktube channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out today's video. I really appreciate it. After the fast times at YA High Blocks, I doubted Alcrate would ever outdo themselves. But each month, Alcrate has been consistently amazing. When I saw the theme for November was Wonderland, I knew that this box was going to be incredible. I just knew that. For those of you who are new to my channel, I need to mention Alice Wonderland and Alice of the Looking Glass happen to be two of my favorite books of all time. I very rarely use the word genius, but Lewis Carroll's pieces truly are a work of genius as far as I am concerned. I think they are masterpieces. While I was earning my master's degree, I did a semester-long project on the rhetoric involved with Alice in Wonderland. My study was not exactly the high school scenario of you were given an assignment and two weeks later you turn in a 10-page paper. I spent about three to six months going line by line through the book, analyzing it as I went. It was a lot of work, but I truly loved every minute of it because it was Alice in Wonderland. If you were doing anything, do Alice in Wonderland. Nothing will go wrong if it's Alice in Wonderland related. True fact. So let's dive right into this unboxing. First out of the box is an Alice Wonderland themed button. We have another Alfred button that mirrors their official card. Around Alice is a teapot, some playing cards, a book, and a pair of glasses. And Alice is trying to reach up for help as she falls down the rabbit hole. Every month, Owlcrate sends buttons. I'm pretty sure because of Owlcrate, I have a button collection. Next out of the box is a magnet. Imagination is the only weapon in the war against reality. And Owlcrate just happened to select one of my all-time favorite literary quotes. I also really appreciate the fact that this magnet is paying homage to the original pictures in Alice in Wonderland. It's a reimagining of the original drawing. And this magnet is from Rock Paper Books. Next out of the bag is this Authored Ornaments bookmark. This bookmark is really elegant. It has this old-fashioned quality that I love. Plus, it has the line, curiouser and curiouser. If I had ever came across this in a store or online, I would have purchased this myself. It's just so beautiful, and it has this elegance to it. I love this. Next out of the bag is a special edition of Alice in Wonderland. And according to the official Alcrate card, this paperback edition was designed by Risa Rodel, who is also from Rock Paper Books. This is what Emoji Alice in Wonderland would look like to me. If there were ever an Emoji keyboard for Alice in Wonderland, I feel as if they would have all of these designs. You can tell a lot of detail and thought went into this cover. We have the Cheshire Cat's tail, the caterpillar, there are some flowers because of the scenes in the book, we have the flamingo, teapot, tea set, some cards, and a potion. I also like the design at the top and bottom because it has that mirror image effect, plus Alice is falling down the rabbit hole, she doesn't really know which way is up. I really like the actual design of this cover. I think this cover perfectly encapsulates what it's like to fall down a rabbit hole, not knowing which way is up and which way is down. Having the top and bottom images be almost mirrored, but not exactly. I already have a collection going of different editions of Alice in Wonderland. Now I get to add this edition amongst the rest. This is such a fun box. I love this. This is so cute. And of course we need to have a tea party. Riddle's Tea Shop and Curiosities, Mad Hatter's Wonderland Elixir, an Owl Creed exclusive tea blend. The actual tin itself is a really nice collectible. So once you've had your 15 different cups of tea, you can still keep this Alice Wonderland themed Owl Creed edition. And once you open it, it says Curiouser and Curiouser with a Cheshire Cat. Once I've had my 15 different cups of tea, I will then keep this tin and cherish it because it is so cute and Alice Wonderland themed. These tea bags remind me of a candle because they almost smell too good to be real. This smells too good not to make again, so I really hope they keep this exclusive on file where they keep this blend going in the future. Because if this tastes anywhere near as good as it smells, I'm going to want to purchase more of these. This is what tea should smell like. We have an Alice in Wonderland bookmark that matches the cover of the book. I'm going to have to keep these Risa Rodel items together. This item is not necessarily meant to be a bookmark, but you can use it that way. It's not a magnet or a button or something, but it is a nice little keepsake of the quote. Sometimes your heart is the only thing worth listening to. Heartless. My channel, Books Are My Heart, the book Heartless. These two things needed to be combined, right? Dear Alcrate Reader, despite the title, Heartless has been a work of my heart. Alice in Wonderland and a fascination for villain origin stories. 
After all, I'd long believed there was more to the decapitation, happy queen of hearts. Why is she always so angry, so bloodthirsty? Well, a few years ago, my imagination began to create a story, not of a tyrannical ruler, but a teen girl who yearned for more than society had planned for her. As you read Heartless, I hope you'll laugh, fall in love, and be played by an incessant sweet tooth. But mostly, I hope you enjoy this trip down the rabbit hole. Marissa Mayer is also the highly successful author of The Lunar Chronicles. I know she just brought her talent to this edition of Heartless. I know we're not technically supposed to judge books by their covers, but if Heartless is half as good as the cover presents it, we are in for a great read. Whoever designed this cover did an incredible job. It is stunning. The rosebuds and thorns interweaving along the cover is spectacular. And the font they used for Heartless is truly eye-catching. And last but not least, the theme for next month's December box. Epic. Dun dun dun. I need to look into sound effects in this channel. I love, loved, love this box. I think I enjoyed this box because of the thought that went into it. We have the Mad Hatter tea bags, a stunning bookmark. We have the intricately specially designed edition of Alice in Wonderland. We have one of my favorite literary quotes on a magnet and Heartless. If there was such a thing as an A++, Owlcrate would have it. Let me know if you have received your Owlcrates yet down below. I'm really curious if you enjoyed your box. If you are a fan of Alice Wonderland, you need to tell me. I need to know I'm not the only one out there. I'm also curious if you're a book lover like I am and you collect multiple editions of the same book. If you have 8 editions of Pride and Prejudice or 10 editions of Wuthering Heights, please tell me. Because I don't know anyone else like that. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below to see more bookish videos every Friday. Also, if you have not checked out my upcoming giveaway, please check out the link down below. Thank you so much for watching and have an amazing reading day.